after the purge comes healing. After the purge comes healing. So it is our intent this year to avoid negativity and concentrate on more positive, inspirational, and motivational type of mindset <clears throat> so that we can develop into a better human being so that perhaps in our developing as a better human being in that healing it would make it possible so that a people themselves will heal to the point Whereas they can override the poison within us. And so that it can be that poison can be purged. And we can be cleansed. So that we can move forward and do better things. So of course if this is the intention, if this is the mindset that we want to have, of course a video that is talking about unity among us, a video talking about being part of a super pack so that we may progress as a people that is a wonderful topic and it is a much needed conversation the channel where this was happening was a channel dedicated to an ideology called Pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism in and of itself is simply an ideology whereas oppressed melanated people on that continent they can unite among themselves. In fact all melanated and oppressed people from around the earth unite under one banner so that we may be a single force against those who oppress us. That is the simple definition of Pan-Africanism. However, people add their morality, their religious beliefs, their personal wants into the mix. So it takes Pan-Africanism from being an ideology to a form of religion where Africa, the continent, is turned into God and Marcus Garvey is a prophet and Martin Delaney and so many others they are the prophets the messengers of this uh, testimony testament and Africa itself is the God it is now a belief system even so 
they call for unity. And this is good. However, I'm responding. I am replying in the chat room and they don't like what I have to say because they feel as though my reply, my response is being negative. I am responding to you. In order for us to unify what must be understood is that the African American or the Aboriginal Native American, however they want to call themselves, whatever these differences is, and that's your problem. This black American, this once called American Negro, we are diverse. And if you cannot accept that diversity, then you cannot unite. So your uh, claim that you want unity is a lie because you cannot handle our diversity. We will never be what you or any individual or certain group, we as a people will never be what you think, what you personally want us to be. Our experiences is, is different. Our thinking is different. What we can unite is, or what we can unite on is our similarity and our similar circumstance. But you want to concentrate on your personal wants, your personal beliefs. So I'm listening to this live stream about Pan African, from Pan Africans or black nationalists or whatever, however they want to view themselves. And they keep talking about how we hate Africa. How we disrespect Africa. No. There are many of us, we don't like the name. We don't want to reference the name Africa. Some of us don't want to be called black. And we have that right. But for you, you don't think I should have that right. If you want to have some relationship with your Africa, that's your business. What does that have to do with our unity? But it does. Marriage is, a, is unity between a man and a woman. And there is nobody who is in a relationship, whether you are married or not, in order to make that marriage, in order to make that work, there must be compromise. Because I love you, but we're different. You might be a meat eater, and I'm a vegetarian. And there are those who can compromise. Most people who cannot compromise, they are selfish. It's all about me. So you do have a marriage and you do have relationships, girlfriend, boyfriend, and they force their personal wants on their spouse and on their children. It's about me, about what I want. So these relationships are abusive and exploitive. They are sick. It is best 
that you do your own thing because you don't you don't have what it takes to unify and as you listen to their conversation these black uh, Africans Pan-Africans whatever they want to call themselves they cannot even unite among their own mindset this one is doing his thing that one over there doing that thing they have no respect for leadership this one want to be a chief he want to be a chief she want to be a chief nobody wants to be an Indian there is no specific purpose or plan or vision or goal just a bunch of people who believe like I told you it's a religion they've turned Pan-Africanism into religion so you find you a good preacher Dr. Umar Johnson find you a good preacher in Pan-Africanism find you a good preacher in black nationalism it's all turned into a religion of belief and selfishness so build your organization but don't come out here talking about I'm here for the people the people ain't ask you to do nothing for them I don't see black folks run around can y'all help us I sure wish Pat African would help me because because I dumb I'm lost I'm lost deaf dumb and blind but what do these accomplish if I'm lost deaf dumb and blind and you can see and you're not lost tell me why your condition is the same or worse than my condition <laughs> so what is all about you have a bunch of people who want to be slave masters they want you and me on their plantation and some of them even admitted they want to be the ruler. Rule according to who? According to what they want. If they had the power, they would force you. They would force their will on you. If they had the power. But they don't. So the only thing they can do is call you a sambo and a coon they sound just like the races in fact they are the children of races they are the offspring all this blackity black stuff it all comes from white people yes it does when you start breaking it all down it all come from the white man. They are the creators of black and the African identity. When you break it down, what is the word? It's disingenuous to come on here talking about unity and you're not sincere about it because you have no respect for nobody.